SUV I have ever seen. So keep watching before I get blown And here are some features that really stand out. Interior space, it is so spacious and airy up front. I'm not even sitting in the driver's seat right now. I'm in the middle. Oh yeah, obviously not a legal seat, but I just wanted to show you how much room there actually is between the driver and the passenger. Center console, not getting in my way. I mean, getting to that back row is a breeze. 60-40 split, this seat is so big. I mean, it is like a replica of the front seats back here. You can definitely fit three full-size adults. A one, two, and a three. Rear space, not even a question. You could totally fit multiple dogs back here. And when you need the extra space, Two buttons back here, boom! And they go fully flat, right Andy? Yeah. And you know what else is flat? And it's not this pancake. Flat floor back here too. Great for big old feet, packing it out with bags, or your center person is gonna be really happy. And while we're talking about space, can we just pause for a hot second and admire the doors? If you're into compartments and organizing, I mean, you're gonna just love these doors. Center console, open that up. Great spot for a big old purse. Front console, cup holders, seat backs, and the rear. Underfloor storage with bins spare tire plus some extra cubbies here on the side. And if you really want to make this rear super fantastic, you can buy panels to cover all this carpet on the sides and a rubber mat. And I wanted to see these in person and Honda hooked it up. We got mail! Get it up, Andy. Wait a second. Hold on. Andy, the box arrived just in time. Let's open it up. Seat back protector, cargo panel cover, and I'm gonna get the cargo tray at the dealership. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up, vacuum out all the dog hair, bring it to Honda, and then I'll show you the finished product. It's complete! It looks so good! Thank you, Honda! Now, you're gonna notice in most of this video that you don't really see these covers, and it's only because we got this more towards the end of our week, and I had already recorded most of the video. But trust me, I can already tell that this is gonna keep the rear so much cleaner. I mean, not just from dog hair, but if you take this off-roading, you go on an adventure, you get all wet and dirty, and you gotta throw your gear in the back, you're golden. You know what else is great about this passport? Comfort! These seats, they're soft, they look luxe, they feel luxe. Beautiful diamond pattern, kind of reminds me of a Harlequin print. Durable too, they feel really strong. Raise your hand if you did Thai Bo back in the day. Woo woo! Huh. Uppercut! Yeah, yeah! Did you notice? These armrests? Yes! The Honda armrests are the best! You don't have to lean over try to get comfortable on a center console. Oh no, private armrest for you and your passenger. Low, middle, high. How great is that? And this is a 10-way power adjusting seat. Oh yeah, with memory settings, heated and ventilated. Boom! Ah, that feels nice. Adjustable back here too. Look at this range. They also recline just a smidge. But the best thing about these seats is that when you're up in the front, 
you can still see your fur kid when the seats are up. Normally, the headrests are closer to the ceiling, so you really have a blocked view of that rear space. Not in this passport. And overall, a lot of black. Your piano black trim kind of reminds me of La La Land. Now, I know some people aren't a huge fan of it because they feel like you get fingerprints on it and it shows dust, but it does wipe down, dusts off very easily, and there's honestly not a ton of it in here. I mean, you have a little bit up front, very minimal on the door. This console kind of has this psychedelic pattern. I mean, you look at it a little too long, you feel like maybe you get a little cross-eyed. Climate control, check this out. Now, sometimes when I jump into a new vehicle, you're like pushing, flipping, tapping, twisting to get the right settings, especially to figure out how to work it in the rear. Well, not in this passport. Everything is right here, and it is so easy to get that rear to the perfect settings. And I'm gonna say, this thing is pretty powerful, especially this vent right here. Ugh, you just get that power. Vents back here in the center, and you can control the temp, but it doesn't have vents along the side or in the rear. If Honda had put those in like you can find in the Pilot, this thing would be perfect, but it does have an outlet, so you can cool down, Andy, the alternative Ooh. way. Remember this? Twist and push. That'd be wow. good. And when we're filming on hot days like this, trust me, any extra airflow is appreciated by all parties. Now, another way you can cool this thing down, remote start. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatible, nice, responsive, beautiful touchscreen. Looks very similar to the Pilot and the Odyssey we reviewed, so check it out. The links are below. Now, it doesn't seem to have cabin talk or cabin watch like I demoed in the other videos, but it does have a wireless charger. And it's a nice size space too, so if you have one of those big megaphones, I think it will fit. No panel moonroof, but the windows are huge, and you have this panel here that it feels really light and airy. And visibility, when you turn to the back, it's pretty good. But you also have your mega side mirrors to help you out, and they also fold in, which I totally appreciate because this vehicle is wide. The first time I tried backing it into my garage, I thought for a second, dang, is this gonna fit? Yes, it fit, but it was so great to have the option to push the button and that's a lot easier. All right, Andy, up, 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 up. Oh my gosh! She just did that by herself? That is the first time she's done that. That is a high jump, girl. You should go to the Olympics. I was about to say this thing sits kind of high up, so definitely help your fur kid in and out. But as you can see with a run and start, she can do it on her own. It is gonna rain on us any second. Few moments later. <sighs> Let's let the rain subside and then we'll we'll get going. Sometimes you just need to take a break. Getting behind the wheel for the first time with this, I was so pleasantly pleased. I mean, I was expecting a smooth ride, but this drives so nice. This has a torque vectoring all-wheel drive system, so less slippage and wet and dirt conditions, more stable on like dry ground. 3.5 liter V6 engine, 280 horsepower, it's a nine-speed automatic transmission. So if you're familiar with the Honda Pilot, think about this Passport as kind of like the super cool cousin. I mean, this was designed to be an adventure vehicle, to go off-roading in it. You have sand, snow, mud mode, but it also has eco mode. And the button is right here on the left. It is a big green button. So either Honda's really trying to push us to drive in eco mode, or they just like green peanut M&Ms. Gotta get a green one. Yep, it's a match. But when you push it, you do feel a difference. It's supposed to be gentler on the throttle, more gas efficient, and it's also gonna make your AC more efficient. I mean, again, at the end of the day, it's gonna really depend on how you are driving. 
but it's an option and I actually don't mind it. It's not bad. Some eco modes feel really like weak, but in this ride, it feels pretty good. Sometimes a crossover just doesn't cut it and you just want the bigger vehicle, but you don't want a three row SUV. You ever hear the saying, winner, winner, chicken dinner? <laughs> Hello, this is it right here. And when it comes to safety, my goodness, Honda Sensing, it's got everything. Adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, lane departure warning, forward collision warning, Lane keep assist, your lackus, and your blind spot intervention. I mean, it's got it all. We're backing up, we're backing up. Yeah. Auditory and visual alerts. You have your lines to help guide you in the spot, but you do not have a 360 view. But you know what? The camera is very nice and clear. And the gear shifter is the whole button thing, so. I'm used to it by now. At first, it's like, ah, it's a little different, but you totally get used to it. And if you're wondering, well, what does this look like at night? I got you. Check it out. And our top five favorite features are one. Space. No matter what section of the vehicle you're in, there is a ton of it. Two, flat features, seats and floor. Three, the overall drive. This thing is super smooth and very comfortable. Four, the convex mirror in the sunglasses compartment. I love that thing. And five, the armrest, functional and comfortable. Big thanks to Honda for letting us lab test this 2019 Passport. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but Andy, is it lab approved? It is totally lab approved. Thanks for watching, and we would love it if you would consider subscribing to our channel. Click the bell so you know when our next lab tested review is up. And this week on Andy's Instagram, we'll be posting plenty more photos of this Passport. So be sure to follow us and we will see you next time. Give me your paw. Bye.